In the silence of God lies a profound mystery. Today, I will explore a topic that has often puzzled many believers. Why does God seem silent sometimes? I will talk about five reasons why God may be silent. So, you may have experienced moments when you've prayed with all your heart, only to feel as if your words are lost in a great void. You may feel like you are in a vast desert, calling out with no echo in response. We pray, we cry, and it seems like no answer comes back. We feel as if we're lost in a thick fog, shouting out and hearing no answer. This silence can make us wonder. Can't God see I'm hurting? Why doesn't he answer me? However, even in these moments of perceived silence, God is never absent. I want you to remember that God is always with us. He is not a far-off God. He's right here. He hears every one of our prayers. He notices every tear we cry. The Bible tells us in Psalm 56 verse 8 that God even collects our tears in a bottle. Each one is precious to him. You are precious to him. He cares for us like a shepherd who would leave 99 sheep just to find one that's lost. He's like a father who throws a big party when his son who was lost comes back home. So you may ask, why does it feel like God is silent? This is a deep question. It asks us to think about things we can't see right now. It asks us to trust in things we can't fully understand yet. Let's open our hearts today. Let's learn more about why God sometimes seems silent. And as we learn, Let's pray that our hearts would find peace, our faith would get stronger, and our lives would be more full of God's love and grace. Let's trust in God even when He seems silent, because He's always working in our lives. Now we're going to look closely at the Bible. We're going to find five reasons why it might seem like God is silent. We're going to learn from people in the Bible who felt God's silence just like we do. So. Let's explore why God may seem silent and uncover the blessings hidden in these quiet moments. Number 1. A Test of Faith Our first reason can be found in the story of Job, a devout man in the Bible who faced a profound period of loss and suffering. Job was a wealthy man with a large family who lived a righteous life. But God allowed Satan to test Job's faith, resulting in Job losing his children, his wealth, and his health. Of course, like many of us would, Job felt abandoned and he lamented about his misfortunes. Yet, despite his pain, he never wavered in his faith. God seemed silent to Job, yet Job said, Though he slay me, yet will I hope in him. This can be found in Job 13 verse 15. Like Job, we are sometimes put to the test. God may seem silent to see how we respond. It's like a teacher during an exam. The teacher is present, watching over us, yet remains silent, allowing us to apply what we've learned. Even in God's silence, He is still with us, shaping our faith. Number 2. To Teach Patience Have you ever asked God for something and found that His answer was not no, but wait, God's timing isn't our timing? In Psalms 27.14, the Bible says, Wait for the Lord, be strong and take heart. And wait for the Lord. This verse reminds us that God's silence could be teaching us to be patient and trust in His perfect timing. Consider the story of Abraham and Sarah who waited years for the promised child. Isaac, they had to learn to trust in God's promises despite the silence and waiting, just like a farmer who plants seeds and waits for the harvest. We too must learn to wait on God's promises knowing that they will come to pass in His perfect timing. Number 3. To encourage growth, periods of silence are not empty. They're filled with opportunities for growth. Think of David the shepherd boy who became king. He spent years in the wilderness running from King Saul. During this time, God seemed silent. But this period honed David into a great king, like a seed planted in the ground. We often grow the most in the quiet, dark places. It's in these moments that we learn to rely more on our faith, and in doing so, we mature spiritually. 
Number four, draws closer to him. When God is silent, it's often a call to come closer to him. In the book of James 4, verse 8, it says, Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Consider the parable of the prodigal son. When the son was lost living in squalor, he felt the silence of his father. However, this silence drew him back home, back to his father's loving arms. When God is silent, it can stir a deeper desire in us to seek him, to pray more earnestly, and to delve into his word, and number five, to prepare us for a greater purpose. Just like Jesus experienced God's silence on the cross, we too might face silent periods that are preparing us for something greater. When Jesus was on the cross and he cried out, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? This was according to Matthew 27 verse 46. He was met with silence, yet this moment led to the salvation of all mankind. So God's silence may be a prelude to a new revelation, a new mission, or a new path he is leading you towards. Trust that he is preparing you, shaping you, just as a blacksmith shapes iron in the fire. If you are going through a tough time right now and feeling as if God is silent, remember this, God's silence doesn't mean God's absence. He is right there with you in every step you take, in every breath you breathe. He understands your pain, your confusion, your struggles. The Bible says in Isaiah 41 verse 10, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Even when it seems like he's silent, God is working behind the scenes on your behalf. I encourage you today, hold on to hope, keep praying, keep seeking. God's silence will eventually break, and when it does, you'll emerge stronger and wiser. His love for you is never-ending, and His plans for you are good. Be patient and trust in His perfect timing. We are here for you, praying with you, and praying for you. And praying for you, let's walk through this season together, knowing that on the other side of this silence is a fresh understanding of God's presence and a deeper relationship with Him. Stay strong and keep the faith. Now let us go before God in prayer. Heavenly Father, the Alpha and the Omega, the God of Isaac, Abraham, and Jacob, the Omnipotent God, we praise your holy name. We come before you, acknowledging that your ways are higher than our ways, your thoughts higher than our thoughts. We trust in you, Lord, knowing that even in your silence you are still God. Lord, when your silence tests our faith, help us to remain steadfast like Job. Despite his afflictions, Job kept his faith in you. Teach us, O Lord, to trust in you even when we can't hear your voice. Father, when your silence is teaching us patience, grant us grace to wait upon you. Like Abraham and Sarah who waited patiently for Isaac, may we trust in your promises and wait for your perfect timing. Dear God, when your silence encourages us to grow, let us be like David, who grew from a shepherd boy into a king in the silence and solitude of the wilderness. David grew into a man after your own heart. Help us, Lord, to grow and mature during your silent times. Lord, when your silence draws us closer to you, let us seek you with all our hearts. As the prodigal son returned to his father, May we too draw nearer to you in times of silence, Lord. When your silence is preparing us for a greater purpose, give us the courage to walk in your will, like Jesus, who fulfilled your purpose despite your silence on the cross. May we faithfully fulfill your purpose for our lives. Through it all, Lord, we trust in you. Even when you're silent, we know you are there. You are working in us. You are molding us. You are preparing us, and above all, you are loving us. Mighty God, when your silence is preparing us for a greater purpose, give us the courage to walk in your will. Like Jesus, who fulfilled your purpose despite your silence on the cross, may we faithfully fulfill your purpose for our lives. We pray in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. If this message blessed your heart, 
type Amen in the comments section below. Remember, God plans to prosper you and not to harm you. He plans to give you hope and a future. Be abundantly blessed today in Jesus' name. Amen.